Hi guys! Merry almost Christmas! Today I thought I'd film a little vlog just showing some of my Christmas mail that I've been busy creating and I, yeah I just kind of wanted to show you how I've been organizing my pen pal mail for Christmas. Now I do have a DIY pen pal Christmas ID video already on the channel that I filmed last year so feel free to check that out. It also includes a few of the things that I might be showing you in this video. And yeah, a few little extras. So I just wanted to show you my little process of how I've been um, collecting my Christmas papers and stickers for my pen pals to make some nice festive seasonal mail for them. And also I've been, for those who happen to have sent something to my PO box in the last month, I've been sending out replies to you all too. So thank you so much for your mail, especially all your beautiful surprise mail that I get in my PO box. And I also will be sending some of you lovely people some Christmas mail. So I hope my pen pals enjoy this mail. I hope you enjoy this little vlog. You can just see my desk behind me here with some of my Christmassy things. Let me know if you want to see a little desk tour because I'll be happy to show you guys as well. So let's get the Christmas crafting started. This is one of my favorite time of years to get crafty and yeah, stay tuned for some upcoming Christmas content and feel free to check out my other videos from last year. There's a bullet journaling video and there is a Christmas mail video like I mentioned and there's also a gift wrapping, DIY gift wrapping ideas video and I kind of put some of those ideas together and I combine those ideas when I'm doing my Christmas mail too. So yeah, I just wanted to do, since I already had a little DIY pen pal Christmas mail video up already, I wanted to do something a bit different so it's kind like a bit behind the scenes of how I put my mail together so I hope you enjoy this and yeah come and Christmas craft with me see you guys soon thanks so hi guys I'm back sorry if the camera is a little bit wobbly I'm filming this by hand today because I wanted to show you my little Christmas organizer well it's actually going to be my pen pal stationery organizer moving on after Christmas throughout the year so I'm going to have all your mail in here and then I'll be replying back to people and also I'll be using this to collect some things that I want to send to my pen pals because I'm always putting things aside for certain pen pals depending on what their interests are so there's a little quick look at my desk I should actually show you just quickly my this is my little mail situation at the moment so I'm busy replying to some of these lovely mails that were sent to my P.O. box and from my regular pen pal so I've got it in this little kind of business tray caddy. I want to pre-make envelopes and set aside certain stationery or new stationery that I might get in. And So yeah, this is just a quick look of what's going on and what I'm sending my pen pals this year. So if you've checked out my DIY pen pal Christmas mail video, so that's on my channel already from last year, I've kind of gone with a similar style look and this is like a, I guess a similar style of how I normally do my everyday mails. If you check out also my mail art video, I did it for the sticky kit. I'm a Creative Ambassador sticky kit. You would have saw how I kind of collage up my envelope. So check that out for some tips on collaging your pen pal mail and decorating your mail and making mail art. So yeah, what I've done is I've kind of gone off what I used previous years for my Christmas mail, which is, I've got some, sometimes I do just a plain colored envelope, but I had some really lovely um, Christmas scrapbook papers. So I've used that for this particular one. This is one of my first Christmas mails of the year, yay. And um, I've got just a plain, I uh, use different colored bits of paper to cut out to make these labels. Um, this is a little illustrated coloring sheet printable that I actually made. So I drew this and I've made this printable available for you all to download. That's also on my Christmas pen pal mail video. So you can download that there. So yeah, I use it to cut up, um, I've used it to make stickers before, I've used it to um, cut up and collage a lot of my envelopes for the last couple of years. And yeah, I've just decorated this with some Christmassy washi tapes, 
This one I think was actually from Sticky Kit. And I've got some, yeah, I made some washi tape stickers and we use the standard Christmassy stickers. Um, some gold stars. Yeah, I'm just decorated that I uh, made this envelope out of a scrapbook paper. You can also see how I make DIY envelopes in my DIY envelope video on this channel too. And so I'm using those to and from. You put these labels on presents when you're gifting presents. So I just covered up the two part and I'm using that as my redress label so they know where the mail has come from. So yeah, if it gets lost in the mail, they can send it back to me. Not that it ever gets lost, but that's handy to have there. And yes, that's what I kind of got for that one. I'm going to go with this kind of style throughout all my mail. This is a little ugly sweater gift tag that I made using some different Christmas paper. And I had an old blog called DIY Kiosk and it's got a little DIY there on how you make these. So, and this is another envelope that I've done. So I've done using similar wash different washi tapes and just collaging, ripping up bits of paper for this one. And then I made this little reef card. So it's a Christmas reef and I did that using washi tape. So if you've checked out my Instagram recently, um, if not, you can welcome to follow me on that. I share a lot of my ideas on there even before sometimes it hits the channel with little sneak peeks. So if you saw that video, I did do a reef card. Actually, I think it was a postcard that I did using some beautiful floral washi tape that I got in one of my sticky kits. This floral one here. But I also had a lovely Christmassy one. So I've gone ahead and I've made this using washi tape and some paper cutouts and using dots for snow so this is going to be a little card like a mini flip book so i will put this is the washi hoard okay i've been making these you also saw this on my instagram account i've been busy christmas washi tape swatching i just spent like an evening or so just putting these together so yeah if you see my previous flip book videos um, you'll see how I kind of make those little flip books. So I'm going to attach some little Christmassy items in this card. That's what I'll be including in my mail. Some more Christmassy things. So there are all my swatches. It's a good look at some of the washi tapes I've got. And I did a big um, washi tape swap with Kayla from Rainbow Holic. And um, yeah, there's some ideas on there how I make my um, washi tape swatches because I do change it up every now and then. So I've just for this one used some Project Life cards. And then I've also been using these little garden tags. They're really handy. I'm going to put a sticker on here. And I also have some nice Australiana to share with my pen pals. How beautiful is this Aussie Christmas card. It's just so nice and I'll probably keep one for myself to stick in my little Christmas journal which I can't wait to share with you soon. Okay, okay, is there a sneak peek coming? There's a look at it. Okay, who knows, I might have already showed you the video. If I have, go check it out. If not, keep an eye on it on this channel. There will be a Christmas journal video. So yeah, I also have, I'm just going to show you some supplies. I pick up a lot of stationery from op shops, garage sales. So yeah, I found this amazing Santa stamp. I think it pretty much sums up how we experience our Christmas, which is summer and it's quite hot. So I might be using some of that to stamp on. And then I've got this gorgeous wombat stamp. I really can't believe I was so lucky to find these. So it's a little wombat Santa stamp. And then I just have a little ornament stamp and little mitts. So it is it is summer in Australia for Christmas, but I still love all that magical, snowy, cozy stationery. So I do have a bit of a mixture in both when I'm crafting for Christmas. And I'm really excited. I've got some of these little stamps here that I will also be using. 
It's like a snow globe, pine cone, a little reindeer, a snowy girl one. So there's quite a few of lovely stamps there. And as you saw, I'll be using, making some washi tape swatches and decorating with washi tape. I also like to decorate my mail with ribbon, wrapping up little, making little packets within my mail and wrapping them all up together. So I can use some of this. I've been using this for journaling too when I've been making my DIY journal that's coming up. So there's little llamas, how cute are they? Love llamas, but so cute. I've got that one and I've got this little elf one and I've picked some of these up from like a $2 shop so that we have in Australia. So the stuff hasn't been very expensive and because I Christmas craft every year, I have kind of built up my collection as I've gone. So that beast of supplies over there, this has been collected throughout the years. So I am reusing stuff, it's not just all new things. I also go through my stationery to find things that might have a Christmas palette and I'll use those to do my mail. So I'm going to show you this organizer here. Once again, I apologize if it's a little bit out of focus and the camera's a bit jutting out, but I just wanted to give you a, just a close look at what's kind of going on here. So this is so cool, this organizer. It's a bit heavy because I've got too much in it, but it's actually got a handle up here and you can lift it up. I've got, got too much in this, so I actually can't lift it up at the moment. But if you don't have as many things in here, you can lift it up and move it around the house, which because I like to um, Christmas craft while I'm watching Christmas movies. I quite like some of the ones they're showing on Netflix this year. What ones are you guys watching? I've just been loving lots of them. And I watch a lot of Hallmark Christmas movies. I just really, really like them. <laughs> and yeah, just your classics like Home Alone, The Santa Claus. Um, there's a Nutcracker cartoon that I watched when I was young. I love putting that on as well. Yeah, so that's what I've kind of been doing. So I'm going to show you what's in here. I'm just going to be waffling on all about Christmas. So let's have a look what's in here. So let's start over here. So I've got some... Oh, my mess in that corner there. Um, let's have a look what i got here, starting over here. So these are just some little Peko Chan pops. They're actually, it's not really Christmas yet. You know I love Peko Chan. And these are little chocolate pops. I can't send these to Pen Pals because I need to send big packages and I can't afford that at the moment. But I do have these and I, when you eat them, they come with these little pops and I've got these little plastic, like swivel style sticks. So I might stick that in some of my Pen Pal mail. So I've got those, not really Christmassy, but they're there. And then I've got some, I made some stickers. Um, so I saw this on the Australia Post Instagram account. An Aussie illustrator made these adorable illustrations. And what I, they're free, it's a free printable you can download. I love free printables. See guys, you don't need lots of money to do your Christmas crafting. So these are free, these ones are free. So it's a free printable and I colored them in. Um, you can download the printable and I color these in in Photoshop and then I made stickers out of them and you can do anything you want with them. So they're going in the mail and these were like what was on the Instagram account because I liked how they were colored in. So I got some of those and I made those stickers. There's my little washi tape card I made that was on Instagram. I got my stickers. So I got some Christmas stickers. I might be using them to decorate envelopes. So I'm just pulling them out of here so you guys get a better look. I've done some pre-stamping. These are actually from last year left over. I stamped some of my favorite stamps, Christmassy stamps. So I got those. I use gift tags. Gift tags, again, these are all just from over Christmases. You know, like, not too much. Anyway, that I paid for them. Plastic little baggies to put things in. I also keep my sticker paper like 
the plastic that some of my die cuts and stickers come in to wrap up some things. So you guys can do that too. That's some cute Jap Japan stamps I had. I might put them on. And then I got these all from a $2 store. And they're so cute. Look at these little Santas. And I want to stick them on the top of this here. I keep on forgetting to do that. But they're so cute! So I got a lot of them because they were from the $2 store. So like a dollar or so. So that's why, they're probably the most recent thing I've got. Um, these actually got from, I think my parents gave me these in there. they got fruit all over them, but because it's summer here again in Australia, we eat lots of fruit this time of year. And when I'm sharing things with pampas, I try to think what's something I can give them a taste of Australia. Um, yeah, that kind of explains like our Christmas. I think the great thing I love about pen paling is that you learn about other countries and I love to hear what everyone's traditions are all through the year and it's really lovely. It's really interesting to hear what they do at Christmas time. So yeah, I'm hoping I'm sending out a bunch of Christmas mail, but I actually am hoping to receive some. And those that mail that does come in my PO box this month, I'm going to hopefully do a Christmassy opening video. I'd love to do, but it just depends on what mail comes through. I've got some of these stickers there again from, I think, two years ago. I got them from Typo. And they're just really cute. You can put them in bags. I've got this lovely, these labels come really handy for doing your from sender label, that's what I was trying to say before. I've got a little Christmas decoration, some die cuts, I found a bunch of vintage tags from my local op shop, thrift shop here in Australia, so whenever I see these I grab them. The op shops here in Australia put out all their Christmas stationery around this time of year, so I always go exploring. And I found this is another something I found in the op shop as well. Look how Aussie that is. Some Aussie Christmas cards, so happy to find them. And there's some like really cool vintage vintage cards in the back. So I've got a few of different, I'll show you those. And then I've got these that were left over from last year. I put these on presents. I made little gift tags from like Australian Illustrator. They're just really different, so. And then I've got my Christmas cards. So there's this koala one that I showed you. And then there's, sorry, the price is just in the way. There's like a beautiful, a beautiful bird on that. Really cute bird. I love my birdies. And then there's these ones as well. So two dollars. I got these for. They're so Aussie. Some possums. It can be a little bit naughty in the yard. They can they eat from our veggie patch sometimes, or oh, actually more like flowers. And I've got some note paper. I've got some DIY Christmas cards that I've made. So check out. I'm not going to open this because you guys should check out the uh, video I did on making these Christmas cards in the Christmas mail video. I've got different little baggies stickers. I've got my Kiki K Christmas book from last year, Paper Lovers book. 
So I haven't got this year's one yet. Um, I've been trying to save money this month. Um, I've got some stickers from Daiso and these ones I found at an op shop a few years ago. And I love them, they're my favorite ones. They got like so neon. But they're really bright colors. So good. And this is my little coloring in sheet I was talking to you about. So I've gone ahead and colored this one in. You can see all the marks. That's really nice. <laughs> Looks really cool like that. Um, yeah, so I've colored that in. And sometimes I photocopy a colored one. So I, um, I might, because I might want to wrap something up with it. So there's lots of things you can do with your free printable. And then I've also got like a Nutcracker coloring book and some more stickers. So I've just got a lot of stickers and things. And I've got this cool coloring in envelope. So that's what I'll probably be sharing with my pen pals this year. So there's a little sneak peek um, of my mouse. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I look hearing from, hearing from you all. I'm really appreciative of all the mail that you guys all send me to my P.O. box, so thank you for that. I also just wanted to say I haven't shown many um, of my, because I'm sending quite a big batch of Christmas mail out this year. Well, I do it every year. Um, so if you want to keep up to date on the Christmas mail that I'm sending out, have a look on my Instagram account, at Jenna Templeton because I'll probably be putting this video up before I finish all my mail. So I don't want you to miss out on any more little ideas or tips. So feel free to check out on there. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks again so much. And thanks for being so amazing for my first year making this YouTube channel as well. I just really appreciate everything that you guys do for me. Even if you're just checking in to watch one video or subscribing and liking and commenting i just really appreciate it so thank you guys i'll see you soon for some more festive fun bye for now bye